Uh, as of right now, yesterday afternoon, we got a call from a concerned citizen that the that there was dead fish laying at the edge of the water. So me and my assistant, Spencer Welch, rushed out to the Missouri Conservation Department, and they said the pond is more than likely is what they call turning over. And the way we understand it, when the pond turns over, that's when they lose the oxygen in the water. That's what causes the fish to die. Okay. And unfortunately, the turnover, a lot of it is caused by the drought and the extreme hot weather we had had this summer. And when it turned off cool the other day, <clears throat> then when it turned out hot here a few days ago, that did not help matters for the water turning over. And unfortunately, we have not had no good rainfalls to flush the pond out, the lake out. So therefore, Liberty Utilities give us permission to put some more water in this pond yesterday evening. We've been working on it ever since we got the phone call, adding water to this pond. And we have installed the fountain down here in the lake in 2014. And it is not an aerator, it is a fountain, and it still puts oxygen in the water, but it's very obvious it was not putting enough oxygen. So we went and got a two inch pump, putting water, oxygen back in the water. We got a three inch pump on the other side of the lake trying to get oxygen in. And unfortunately, the, we was told that when a pond in the lake is turning over, there's not much we can do, just keep trying to put oxygen into the lake. So that's what we are doing now. Unfortunately, there is a few fish still dying, but it has slowed them down compared to what it was yesterday afternoon. But we just wanted everybody to know, we put it on Facebook to let the, because we know how much this lake means to the surrounding area of Oliver and the communities around. We're just trying to inform people what is going on, and we are picking up <laughs> the dead fish, trying to keep the smell down and everything. But we just ask for your patience and we just want to, and your concerns that everything is all the city of Bolivar can do. We're trying everything that we have been told to do. So this is just a product of the weather, I guess. I mean, the drought combination, no rain, plus the hot and cold going back and forth. That's exactly what we was told. And, you know, it ain't like something that you can set, well, it happens every four or ten years. This is nobody knows. It's, it's, it's just exactly what the weather does, so it don't give you a heads up that you can be putting oxygen until it's already too late that you see the fish dying and before you the first sign that you see you got issues. And this is a pretty popular place. This is a very popular place, especially on weekends, but even through the week, people come out here and bring their kids after school. A lot of people just bring their lunches out here and enjoy this on the green hour and having lunch. And we are proud that the communities uses this like they use it. We do our best to try to take care of it. So it's important to stay ahead of this, I guess. Yes, yeah, so it's definitely very much ahead. And we was told that the auction level really goes down when about at sunrise. So we've been out here before daylight getting these pumps in any possible way that we can get oxygen put back into this pond. We have been working before daylight and we will continue leaving pumps running all night long, whatever it takes to try to save is what we can do. And you're seeing some success. You said we are seeing some success. There is still a few fish dying, but it's no comparison to what it was yesterday evening after we received the phone call for the concerned citizen. You just need the weather to flatten out, don't you? Yes, we just hope that that cool front comes in Thursday and stays in for a few days. And it would be nice if we get some of this rain that we got a slight chance of getting some rain Thursday. We need the rain and the cool weather to help stabilize the water.